today. It's really good to talk to someone I know really, really well. Even if you are on the other side of the country. <laughs> I know. Moving is so hard. Uh, oh, uh, my mom told me a little about, about what's been going on in your family recently. I've been really praying for you guys. Thanks, Liz. It's, uh... It's, it's been really tough, but I have to say I've learned quite a bit. What do you mean? Tell me. What is the hardest thing you've ever done in your life? For me, I had to forgive someone. Forgiveness, it's such a simple concept, and yet it often can be very challenging to do. Christian artist Matthew West describes this challenge in his song, Forgiveness. It's the hardest thing to give away, and the last thing on your mind today. It always goes to those who don't deserve. But while often challenging, forgiveness truly is liberating and life-changing. I hope that today's story, which is based on true events, will encourage you and help you discover the power of forgiveness. A Forgiveness Story by Mary King. Ruby, could you pass me the napkins? Sure, Margaret. I can't wait for the quiche to come out of the oven. It smells so good. I know. I'm so hungry. Caleb, you're always hungry. Well, I'm a growing teenage boy, aren't I? I got all right. Uh, Margaret, we missed a plate. There's six of us. No, Caleb, I didn't. There are five of us now. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot. He's finally gone. This summer has been so hard having you back home over break. His very presence irritates me. I'm so sick of feeling like I have to protect you two from him. And to think, he's my own brother. I know, Caleb, but at least we won't have to see him again for a while. We can be glad of that. Ruby, do you think he'll ever want to come home again? I don't know, Margaret. The counselor said he has that attachment disorder issue. So his natural inclination is to reject any meaningful relationship of any kind. Our family's made up of meaningful relationships. Yeah, I don't think he'll change his mind. He's completely rejected us, and actually, he said he'd rather be an orphan again than live in our family. He's rejected us, he's rejected God. He's rejected everything he's done since his adoption. I don't understand how he could just leave it all. Margaret, do you think that could happen to me? Could I just flip a switch and go off the deep end all of a sudden, too? Oh, Ruby, no, 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 of course not. Just because you're both adopted doesn't mean you have to act the same way. Yeah, Ruby, you're nothing like Michael. Thanks, Caleb.
Let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, as we reflect this week on what we've learned from your prophet Jonah, give us strength to do as you've asked us to. We know that through you, we can do all things. Help us to talk to that person. Help us to stop that addiction. Help us to forgive. my forgiveness story. <laughs> 